friends, this is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and the question of the day is, Capital Games going to forfeit or lose their Star Wars license in 2023? Now, you got to think long haul, you got to think long term, and you're like, well, that doesn't make a ton of sense because they made billion dollars this year, murder, murder, or a billion dollars over the course of the last six years. This is a cash cow. It is absolutely a cash cow for uh, Capital Games, for sure. For EA, it's one of the great tools uh, that they have at their disposal. Um, and, and it makes them a lot of money. I looked over at Sensor Tower. over or From February 2020 until... No, just there were 400,000 downloads in February 2020. Uh, in February 2020, they made $6 million. Um, this is, this is a great game, right? This is, it's making money, right? Now you saw at the launch of the, the new Galactic Legends, you know, Ray and the Galactic Legends, Kylo, Capital Games didn't launch the information. Disney did. If you go over to starwars.com, Star Wars, a, a subsidiary of Disney said, Hey, here it's coming. This is all the information. Now that could have been a misstep. It could have been like it's live now, and and you know, uh, go check it out, players, people who aren't players, but jump jump to it now. Or it could be something else, and and it could be Papa Company, parent company, saying, "Hey, I'm going to take a little more active role in your activities." Right? Um, could very well be that. Now, what's interesting to me is over the weekend I was jumping over on Discord. But Morteno Danos reached out to me. He's like, hey, Thad, I know you love conspiracy theories. But what's interesting here is he he asked the question. He's like, with EA and Disney kind of being on the outs, as, as Morteno Danos points out, look, more uh, companies making games, more licenses going to different places means more stuff for fans. It means more availability to to us. And and I like that concept. I really do. But what does that mean for Galaxy of Heroes? Will Galaxy of Heroes get knifed or will it somehow survive? Right? EA has had the exclusive right to all things Star Wars from Disney for 5 years. They have the exclusivity rights all the way to 2023 we've seen a great number of star wars mobile games shut down in the past we see we saw um star wars commanders is being clo- is closing down force arena closed down there's a few other games that were star wars related that closed down they weren't they weren't big they, and some of the games didn't even make it to the live stage there's one i think onals or, or no mobile gamer was playing a while ago and it was just in the beta phase and it was essentially the fortnite version of star wars and it looked amazing but it it didn't come to fruition it was closed before it even got a chance um but with that with the fact that disney and and ea are considering the rumor is that they're they're not happy with each other, or Disney is not happy with with EA, um, and kind of rightfully so. They put out Battlefront One, which was fun, but didn't have a story element, and it was just multiplayer, which yeah, it kind of sucked. Um, Battlefront Two uh, is good now because it's had a renaissance. But when it came out, oh my gosh, people were pissed. Now, I was a little upset because the story arc, the story arc's very short. It's like a 10 to 15 hour story arc. I wanted more. I wanted more from Inferno Squad. I wanted essentially what we saw in Inferno Squad, the book, added in the game. And, and that would have made much more sense. It would have been cooler. Now, here's the, here's the thing, right? And, and Morteno Donos points out, he's like, well, I think that they'll keep certain games around. Battlefront 2, I think they'll keep around until Battlefront 3 comes out, if it does. Um, I Clearly, Jedi Fallen Order is getting a sequel, and so that's awesome. But they're, they're keeping things around. They're going to keep their money makers. And so will Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes get the knife? No. Uh, as I said, it made six million dollars in t- February of 2020. That's crazy. 
No, it was fat. The thing that, that that caught my mind, the thing that was so <laughs> funny to me, is he asked this of me on Saturday, and then on Monday I get this, "Hey, um, we're we're closing officially down the the Game Changers demo accounts." Now, for those of you who have seen any videos that I've made recently, you've seen me make them with demo accounts, right? I don't make them on my own personal account because. My, my account's not good enough. I don't whale enough. I just don't. Um, but what I do have is I have this, this demo account. And I love it. I am going to absolutely miss it. I'm gonna, like scrolling through. Look at all of these characters that I have gotten to 7 star, that I've gotten to Relic 1 or Relic 7, um, that, that no one else seems to bother with. I mean, let's face it, guys. Some of these characters... I'm really one of the only people that has showed love to. I mean, Gamorian Guard, I'm trying to get him on my personal account just because I know one day I'm going to need him eventually. And if I don't have him at least seven star, it's going to be frustrating. Um, but like a lot of these characters, you know, I've, I've been working towards for like the last six months, getting them to gear 12 and then gear 13, then relic seven. I mean, it's, it's insane. Um, and it is going to suck to lose this account. Um, but one of the things that I've, I've looked at, one of the things that I've been thinking about as, as this gets taken away from us, probably within the next week is the game actually going downhill. Now, a lot of people think that based on the performance of this Kylo Ren, uh, Supreme leader, Ray galactic legends event, it was lackluster at best. And it, it's, sucks i it does it sucks that that again it's one of those events that very few people can actually play like it it was frustrating right and a lot of people are frustrated with this event now if you jump back over to the the forums a lot of this stuff um and and based off the conversation that we had in the game changer platform which is being shut down one of the things that i i was thinking about was what does this mean? Now, just like Battlefront 2, I think Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes is going to have a renaissance. It's going to be a lot more open. People are going to love it. People are going to flock to it. It will make so much more money and it'll be something that a lot of people really end up enjoying. Will this be one of the games that gets thrown on the chopping block? I honestly think that the answer is no. I think that there's something more. There's something hidden behind the scenes here. Now, part of the reason why I think this is I jumped over to EA Capital Games job board, right? And and a company that's that's about to close, a company that's about to have a game completely just go under, is most likely not going to be hiring. Uh but let's look at what they are hiring for. So they've got a software development intern, right? A technical artist, senior game designer, technical designer, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, specifically a technical director. Now let's jump into that. Responsibilities. Set project technical standards, which establish high level architecture, processing tools, so on and so forth. Monitor and troubleshoot live service issues. Uh, ensure the quality, performance, stability, and technology. Manage technical considerations and risks. Collaborate and manage partnerships with internal technical partners and EA central groups. So on. Work as part of the product leadership team. Understand uh, and help establish the product vision and needs. Okay, so again, let's let's look at this. This is not someone who's entry level, guys. 10 years software development experience, five years of technical leadership experience. This is someone who's mid to high range. I mean, I don't know. Technical director sounds fancy. Um, I was I was never director of anything. Um, and so part of <laughs> part of me thinks uh, like this is this is huge. Now, this is not a small gig. And why would they be putting forth this level of work if, if they're closing down shop? And I just don't see it. Um, you do have other things here. You have senior development director, experienced design director, 
um, lead pr product and management. Uh, the only one that was specific to um, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes was the technical director. Now, um, I do think that they are at a pivotal stage. I do think that there is a moment here in time where it's going to be make or break for the game designers at Capital Games. This is Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes coming to Jesus moment, coming to the Wills moment, you know, uh, and, and what we're going to see is coming in the next few weeks. I, and I think few weeks we will start seeing a dramatic change to this game. Now, I'm hoping that that starts with an abundance of communication. That is why they're saying that they're, you know, resetting this, that they're re, you know, connecting it. I really hope that that's the case because that's one of the things that people are clamoring for. I mean, yes, we want new content. Yes, we want to uh, be able to play these new stuff, this new crap that's coming out. We want to be able to play with them without having to go super galactic legend price tag. We don't want to have to open a credit card at the Bank of Coruscant uh, that only takes blood. We don't. And so my, my thought here is we're going to see a major change. They said... Be prepared for marquees. Yes, the Galactic Legends felt very much like an unaffordable marquee event. It did. I don't think that's gonna. That's what we're going to see. I think we're going to see a lot of new characters coming to the game. I think that we're going to see a lot of things that players have been asking for and begging for coming to the game. I really think a lot of stuff's change, coming to change. And I hope, I really do hope, that this is part of it. Communication first and foremost, guys. If you ever watch my content, which based on my numbers, you probably don't. Capital Games, you absolutely need to communicate more effectively with the people, right? And I think the, the Q&As are a great start, but you need to be able to answer hardball questions. I think the uh, monthly road aheads or the every other month road aheads again great start but you need to be more and you need to do it more effectively i gotta thank mortano danos for for posting this is this the final straw or is this the gasp of breath that will revive the game for another 10 years another five years what do you guys think if you are interested in the section below uh there are links you can check out Two free audiobooks. My next binge, books worth binging, is going to be talking about The Gunslinger, one of the greatest. The Gunslinger, which is one of Stephen King's greatest characters of all times. If you are interested, please check out the links below where you can get two free audiobooks if you sign up for one free month trial. Now, end within a month, you keep the books. You help my channel out just a little bit. Um, and you get some great stuff. There's a lot of also great Star Wars books out there. But let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, share this video. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And as always, my friends, smile and stay nerdy.